In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you one of the most effective plays in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. Now if you're brand new to the channel and maybe you've never been to one of my videos, what I do on YouTube is I break down how to get better at Madden through tips and strategies just like this one. We share how to get better on the offensive side of the ball as well as how to get better on the defensive side of the ball. And So if you're new to the channel you haven't subscribed yet, it's completely free to subscribe and research shows that only 40% of the people that are going to watch this video have actually subscribed to the channel. So I want to ask you to go ahead and click that subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Alright guys, so split close pats. This is one of my favorite, favorite offenses in the entire game. It's super, super effective and it's really, really simple. It's, it's really not that complicated to run, but I want to talk specifically about a play that you can use that does a really, really nice job against different types of man-to-man -man coverage that your opponent might, um, you know, that he might be uh, basically using. A lot of people have shifted to kind of a two-man under press look almost from their defense. Uh, really running a lot of press coverages and things like that. So we're going to show you how to beat it. So first and foremost, one of the things that you want to do is you want to make sure you have your best uh, route running receivers in. And the play that we're going to be talking about is the um, the X drag trail. Now this is one of my favorite plays in the entire game. It's super, super simple to run. And there's several different ways we're going to be able to run this. I'm going to give you a couple of setups today. But if you have not already joined my text message membership, I want to let you know that I actually have a full 45, I think maybe even an hour long video that breaks down the split close and all of the cool things that you can do with this play. Um, not just this play, but this formation. And I actually have a full uh, video on that that you can get for free. Literally all you have to do to get it is just text me. My number is 812 Two one six three six four four. All right. It's also in the top left hand corner, and it's also in the description of this video. Okay. So what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to back off here, back the ball off just a little bit, and I'm going to run this to the left hash. Now you don't have to always run this to the left hash, but I in general would like to have my two my two wide receivers on the right be on the on the wide side of the field. But you don't. I mean, it's it's kind of like a nice to have. You don't have to have it. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put Mike Evans on a flat route, and then I'm going to put Chris Godwin on a flat. That's pretty much it. Uh, I might re-wheel the back just so it's a little bit sharper of a cut. But basically against man, I have one. I have really two reads. The first read is this low ball right here to your running back. And what's really, really good about this specific route is it's not your typical angle route. It actually goes a little bit deeper than most angle routes go. And so a lot of times they're not going to be able to really be ready for this. It's a very simple man beater, but it's also a very effective man beater for another reason that I'm going to share with you right here. And that is that you can basically snap throw. Um, of course, as I, I say that I throw a pick, you can basically snap throw this route against uh, a lot of different types of man-to-man -man coverage. So let's say that they press coverage you something like this right here, right? Snap of the ball and you're just gonna throw this to the outside right on the cut. I'm throwing it a little bit too early. You want to wait for that that um, that corner to basically kind of to basically kind of pull himself out of the way. So you're gonna wait on it right there. That's where you're gonna throw it. That low ball right there is super, super effective. It's really even more effective against zone. And I'm going to show you like a cover three Mabel type of thing. A lot of people will run this kind of coverage. And this is why you really like to leverage that flat route to Mike Evans. Because what you're going to see here is I can easily hit that low ball against zone just like I was able to hit it against man to man. So that's a really, really nice little feature to have. Now the next thing that we're going to do as far as man to man coverage goes is we're going to basically take a look at the tight end. Now, the tight end is going to be really good. He's going to get inside position. As you see right there, he's going to easily um, be a nice possession catch. And here's the bottom line. Whether they're running man-to-man -man coverage, they're not going to be able to use her both the tight end and the route to LaShawn McCoy. They're going to have to choose one or the other that they're going to take. And so most of the time, they're actually going to probably choose the tight end, and you're going to have that route to LaShawn McCoy, but I wanted to show you both of those against that coverage. Now when you do this, when you double flat both sides, you do leave yourself in a position where you really only have two primary man beaters. Now do understand that this angle route to LaShawn McCoy will often get separation when he comes back across the formation as well, which is really, really nice. So let's say that they're doing something like this where they're taking their purple or their safeties 
you know, they're doing a coverage just like this right here. You've probably seen this if you've played online at all in this year's game. And what you're going to notice here is literally all I'm going to do, and I like to take Godwin and motion him out and just kind of snap him on the fly here. It's just going to help me open up space. But see how wide open these two little underneath routes are? They're very, very effective against man-to-man -man coverage. Now, you might be asking, well, what do you do against something like a cover three Mabel? A lot of people are doing this where they're calling cover three, and they're basically putting two flat zones. They're putting a flat zone that's shaded at about 20 to 25 yards to help stop crossing routes, and they're putting underneath flats. Well, this play really does a good job against that. As you see right there, your quick pass to the running back is wide open against something like this. So you're able to hit the running back relatively easily. You can hit him against a lot of different coverages. Really, my favorite read against zone is either one of these backs with these little low passes. As you see right there, just those simple little possession catches are going to be wide open for you to consistently move the ball up and down the field against your opponent in Madden 21. And the other thing that you're going to be able to do on this play is you're actually going to be able to hit your um, little angle route, of course, when he comes back over the middle of the field as well, which is one of the great features of the angle route. It's one of those routes that gets open at multiple different points on a play. Now, the other thing that you're going to be able to do is you'll notice here, if I motion Godwin out to the right, this wheel route to the running back is going to, you see how he goes a little bit wide like that? That's why I like to basically rewheel him. If you don't rewheel him, he's going to go wide like that pretty consistently. So what I like to do is just basically put him on a wheel route. And it, you don't have to have hot route mass or anything to do it. You see how he gets that nice sharp cut, cut up field, and he's going to be able to be very consistent against zone coverage. So the next thing that you can do with this play, and one of the things that I really like to do, is if they're not playing like cover two, and they're not playing hard flats on like their slot corner or something, which most of the time they're not going to be. When you motion this Godwin route out, if they back up at the snap of the ball, you can kind of throw this as a snap throw and basically swerve catch it if they're playing some type of cover three or something like that. Now, let's say they're playing, let's say that they're playing cover two, right? So you motion this guy out right here. You see that I can see that it's cover two and I can easily hit my running back right in behind it. So it gives you nice uh, a plethora really of reads that you're going to be able to be very effective with the next thing you might be saying is well what if they just simply you know maybe they do some cross manning maybe they do some different types of tactics to be able to stop this what about this tight end well this tight end route is super super effective you'll see that basically late in the play it's going to come wide open on that on that left side as well. So it's not just a route that's gonna be open in the middle, it's actually gonna be open in the middle as well as all the way across the formation, which is really, really nice. And you can kind of build off of this. You could do certain things like, you could take Godwin, for example, and you could put him on like a hitch route, motion him out, and he's gonna kind of play like a flat. You see that that route to the running back is still gonna be able to come underneath it and be very, very effective. The other thing that you really have, I think, the, the opportunity to be able to do with this specific play is not only are you going to be able to beat man, you're going to be able to beat press man because neither one of these players are typically going to have to worry about press coverage. And if the only player that really is going to have to worry about it would be your tight end on this play, and there's some things that you can do to get your tight end to be basically be able to be unbumpable. Now, one other option as far as running this play that I really like to do is I like to motion Godwin over on a slant route and put that running back on the right side on a, a little swing route. And you're going to see that that basically allows it to beat man at an even higher level than it was already beating man. Another thing that you could do, another tip to try, is to take your receiver Godwin right here and motion him to the left side you'll notice that he's going to get these nice little um essentially like animations here to the where he's going to get basically a, a win animation against main man coverage and he'll typically get that on both sides so for example if you wanted to do something like maybe throw a slant you know something like this right where you're doing this kind of combination that's a very effect, fairly effective combination right here. And just motioning Godwin out, that's literally all you're doing. But you'll see he's got a pretty good chance of beating man-to-man -man coverage to the inside. If they're specifically running man-to-man -man coverage, you might want to use that version of the play as well. 
But anyways, guys, that's the Split Close Extract Trail. It's one of my favorite plays in Madden 21. And if you have not already gotten my New England Patriots offensive ebook, there is a full offense that I wrote based out of the New England ebook or New England ba Patriots offense, which I believe to be the best offense in Madden. It literally is the best offense, most dominating passing and running scheme. It's super hard to defend, super hard to guard, and you can pick that full offensive scheme up in the description of this video. If you want to just get the split close, you want to learn some more about split close, go ahead and shoot me a text message. I have free videos available for you to pick that up as well. Thank you guys for watching tonight today's video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, like I said, go ahead and click that subscribe button. But again, if you want to pick up my full New England Patriots offensive ebook, best offense in Madden 21 by far, go ahead and pick it up in the description of this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on our stream tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time.